Oh, honey, here again. Um, this video is going to basically cover my hair regimen and my hair resolution for the year 2010. Um, I was tagged by really now 72 Hi, girl. How you doing? If you see this video. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to get right into it. Basically, my hair regimen, I do a lot of co-washes. I only wash my hair once a month. I've mentioned that in a couple of videos. Um, this video is a redo, actually, because one of my subscribers said that she couldn't really hear the hair products, hair resolution, hair resume video that I made. So this one is without music or sound so that you can just basically hear exactly what I'm saying. Um, so as far as the hair regimen, like I said, I co-wash. I always leave my conditioner in for about an hour, let it get like a good deep condition, and I wash that out. And um, I put it in a protective style. I always put my hands in kind of protective style because it's cold out, because it's winter. And I want to keep my ends as moisturized as possible. Um, I miss the summer. I miss my, you know, froze and fro hawks and things like that. I miss my big hair. I haven't had my hair out um, since Christmas. I had a, a holiday party, so I did like a twist out, and it was really big. I'll put some pictures at somewhere in this video. And, um, yeah, I had a, a big twist out, and it was pretty. I liked it. And my birthday is Valentine's Day. That'll probably be the next time that I wear my hair out. But I just keep putting it in the um, protective style. And I don't, you know, let my hair be braided too tight because I don't like my edges, you know, coming out or anything like that. So I keep them, the edges pretty loose and things like that. And um, it's really healthy for my hair. I've noticed growth because I dyed my entire hair um, some spice color. I can't even remember it right now. And if I think of it, I'll put it in the video. And, um... I dyed it, the whole head that color in August, and now my, my hair is, like, growing out so much, so um, I can definitely see a difference with the protective styles, how it's, you know, impacting my length and how I'm retaining length by keeping my ends moisturized in the process of letting my roots grow out Cause, because I'm retaining my hair. is not breaking off um, through extra manipulation. And um, I try not to deviate from that schedule too much. Co-wash, braid up some kind of way, twist, braids, cornrows, whatever, leave it like that. Um, my 2010 hair resolution is pretty much to keep doing what I've been doing. Um, stay away from products with too many cones, parabens, and sulfates. I try to keep that stuff to a minimum, and I really, you know, I really don't use them too much, to be honest with you. Um, I try not to put a lot of gel in my hair. Like, in the summer months, I put a little bit more gel because I wear my hair out more, and so sometimes I like to stick down my size or something like that or maybe stick my hair up in the back but for the most part um, I try to stay away from gel because I found that my Shea Butter Whip that I make it lays my hair now like once I put it on my hair and tie a scarf around like when I take the scarf off my edges are like laid down I didn't even have to use gel and it works wonderfully and it lays it just as well because it's not too thick and it's not too thin it gives it just enough hold and um, that's a good hold for me you know it satisfies me anyway um, if you want a harder hole, you might want to use the gel, so, but use something like an eco solid gel, like the olive oil eco solid gel or something like that, something less intense than like a hard, dark gel or something like that. Um, I can't even think of a name of one. Ambro or something, just don't use anything too hard. Um, yeah, so that's my hair regimen, and my hair resolution is to keep my hair healthy, keep the ends strong, keep my whole hair strong put good things in it, get good things out of it, just like life. So, um, if I left anything out, um, just let me know. If you have any questions, let me know. Rate, comment, subscribe, and thanks for listening. I hope this benefited you in some way. Be heartfelt, honey. Bye.